Hi there, it's Steve here and Joe. And today we're going to go and do the Manly to what is it? Taronga Zoo. Zoo. Manly to Taronga Zoo. We're going to catch a ferry across from here at Circular Quay. We'll go across to Manly. Manly, then we'll follow. There's a marked walk there, the Manly to Spit Walk. Um, we'll find a coffee along the way, have a bit of a look around. Hopefully, it'll be a, a nice, beautiful day for it in Sydney. It's a great way to start the trip jumping on ferry on the harbour, going across to Manly. Um, it should be, I'm guessing, about a half an hour trip on the ferry. Um, once we're over there, we'll um, start the walk or we'll run. Circular key in the background there. Poster buildings, Opera House, Sydney Harbour Bridge, overseas passenger terminal. We've got a nice early trip. Uh, we're going to Manly first because the ferries to Taronga Zoo don't start a bit later. So we thought we'd go that way, go from Manly to Taronga Zoo. In that direction. Um, there's my first surprise for the day. Why am I taking a photo of Aldi? It's because it's at Manly Wharf. That's bizarre. So we're at Manly. Down that way down to the beach. In that promenade, you can see it. It's relatively early here at the moment. The wharf. So Pretty sure we'll be heading in that direction down there and on our way through to the spit walk and Tronga Zoo. 10 kilometers, three hours. Starting here, right along around Spit Bridge. Yeah, so that should be about 10k, so it should be good. Nice part of the track, so far really well signposted and easy to get around. Awesome. So if it opens up. Cool park out here. Here we've got the telling us post telling us which way to go. It's very handy. So this is part of the trail that we've just done at the moment. It is um, really impressive. It's so far, well exceeded my expectations. It's yeah, really good walk so far. Very beautiful. Now here's the next surprise, going along a tidal rock shop here, I guess we just keep following it up to the next headland. 
yes, this is the right direction, and I've just got wet feet. I've watched this very certain of it. <laughs> wet feet already. Bad move. Oh well. Fun? <laughs> oh, okay, and it's muddy. Um, oh well, we are going in the right direction. It's part of a national park, it looks like we've got come into here. Um, nice little track, trail, right along the water. This keeps surprising me, this does this trail, and it's pretty good, and we're less than 4Ks in. We started over there, the ferry came in. We're in this really cool national park. I had no idea what to expect about it. Really, um, really nice trails and, and uh, some nice, really nice places to look out. And um, you can see the beaches and all the little coves along the way. It's pretty cool. And you got the heads out there. Your kayak is down the bottom. A beautiful spot. So we're about 5Ks in at the moment um, into in the run slash walk from Manly. And um, we've just been in, I found out it's the Sydney Harbour National Park. It's really amazing. Little spot um, and walk. Beautiful look out over the heads um, over Manly. And uh, yeah, it's really impressive and very surprising. Um, so we'll keep going on. There's another little another Manly ferry coming into just into view there and going out, and we can see the heads through there. So um, brilliant. Well, sign posted. Know which way to go? Do you go on Spit? Or are you going to Manly? Yeah, so this trail is quite nice. We're about six k's in. Manly. It's going through another. Looks like a national park of some description. Pretty nice. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the right way we're going, but it's interesting anyway. That's a waterfall, hidden little beach. I don't mind having a bit of a detail on this one. Cool bit of the uh, walk along the beachfront. Look at these cool houses. Um, We've got the spit bridge over the other side there where all those yachts are. Wasn't a lot of room to uh, get by on the sand, but I think you can get it on the footpath if you need to. I, mean, I got wet feet anyway already. So, yeah, we'll keep going. There's another interesting part of the, the walking trail. A bit rainforesty in here. Pretty nice. Little creek down the bottom. We're not near the spit now, it's about nine, nine kilometres in. Okay, we're at the spit bridge now. Come down this path here, it's got the worst surface we've had for a while. It's just um, rough aggregate, large aggregate. Some details on the um, spit bridge and its history. So we'll go over the top and a bit, maybe a bit further on, we'll um, hopefully stop for a coffee somewhere. It's on the spit bridge. It's the start of it here. We're just here and we've come from Manly there all the way through these spots here. We're going to hopefully try to continue on off to Balmoral Beach, look for a coffee shop there maybe, and then off to Taronga Zoo and then catch a ferry back. Well, that's the plan anyway. So we're about just over nine, nine and a half kilometres in. Um, we'll keep, keep going that way. Okay, we're past. Um, I guess we're in towards Mossman now, after the Spit Bridge. Just see the Manly Ferry going past through the heads there. Uh, across the heads, I should say. And um, going on a bit further up this hill. So it's quite a steep hill. So there is an option to get off and catch a, train, uh, catch a bus back into the city. Just the Spit there. Um, we're going to keep going a bit further. Hopefully we'll make Taronga and catch the uh, ferry back but we can always jump on a bus a bit buggered actually it's been um, a lot of up and down so far so you gotta be i guess prepared for that and take your time this is just keep coming um because we found a lighthouse in amongst houses in mossman some details on it there but i guess because it looks straight out through the heads 
Guess that makes sense, right? Built in 1911. Go and ship me on. Just see if you can. You might be able to just make it out through these trees. Is the heads? Can you see that? There you go. Pretty cool. It's a spit bridge. We've gone a couple of kilometres. Signpost hasn't been very good. Um, so we're just kind of following our way, but there is a couple of uh, signposts like this one. It shows the Bondi to Manly Walk. Um, we've just copped a bit of a rain shower, which is quite nice. And there's some interesting um, houses and paths and bits and pieces around here. With uh, All of them with really nice views down to the harbour. Here's about one old beach. Looking down over there under the sand. Got some shops and so forth, and we'll go and grab a a cafe, go and grab a coffee down there. So next to a defence piece of land here, I think it's HMAS Penguin. I'm not sure it's necessary to have all these signs saying shooting prohibited upon or over this land. Weird. Yeah. Right, just another interesting part at the top from Balmoral. It's about 14 k's in. Um, and we've got, I think, Housing on this side, pretty cool houses, and got a nice uh, uh, path down from the top, I guess from the tops of the street, down the bottom to Balmoral. Balmoral, yeah, pretty cool spot. Right, let's keep going. Oh, nice little rainforesty feel around here. It's going to get the heart rate, because quite a few stairs were just done then. Um, interesting that they shut this off, uh, this pathway off um, at night. Um, I guess I just want to control the people coming in and out um, and I think some disease issues I got around here over in the um, uh, the, the fence land okay we've just come up from Balmoral Beach which is down here up here um, that's up those all those stairs at part at uh, steep bit there in the um, defense land there we're just going to come down the bottom here and I'm guessing up this way, or possibly, and actually we'll go down here, to Taronga Zoo. Um, looks good. Pretty cool track. Okay, I've just gone about 50 metres and I've had to stop and take another video because it's so pretty. Um, unfortunately, my camera doesn't take a very good picture with the sunlight, but just imagine over that way is Manly. I can see a ferry kind of coming into, uh, uh, coming, leaving Manly off to Circular Key again. We've got the heads, it's just um, all this through this uh, walk, is they are quite prominent in, in what we can see. And then um, we've got further around, I guess to the southern part of the harbour, and we'll continue on. I needed to stop and take a picture and a video of this. It's so beautiful. Joe, what's that area? What's that over there? That um, part with that, with that beach and those cranes? Is that like Middlehead or something? No, it's not Middlehead. This is Middlehead here, isn't it? I don't know. That's the southern part. It just doesn't look... It looks kind of different to what I expected. Cause Watson's Bay, Camp Cove, cool. All right, just keep getting surprised. Just running along here, and there's an artillery, there's a cannon, just positioned here. Um, yeah, not marked, there's no details, it just says warning, keep out, we're repairing it. Um, which I think that's just absolutely amazing. And I guess it's just, there's heaps of history like that around here from the um, World War I, World War II. Uh, defense parts just because it's so open to the harbour to the heads and this is a uh, obviously significant defense positions so anyway that's just another little surprise you can't go in there unfortunately but you can kind of get a bit of a see for well for what it is there's some um so yeah keep an eye out for some other surprises from it's about 100 meters on from the uh from the cannon or whatever it is that we saw there um 
and I've got a bunker system it looks like here. Historic buildings behind us. Yeah, it's on top of history. I have, it's funny when you just got no idea you're wandering around through these places. I hear a bit of an echo now too. But obviously um, there's a picture of the gun in action. But it's all been covered over now because of the um, uh, from the trees building up around it. So it's built in 1877. Cool. Another interesting point along the way. It's supposed to be some type of defence facility. All right. It looks like we should be able to. I think we just have to We're here. We'll cruise around here, along that beach at Chowder Bay, and off to Taronga Zoo. That's the way. Nice looking little area here. What's that cafe or something there? Just be able to get a bus here as well, obviously. Cool. This is a place you could and get one and get bus back anyway. Um, another manly ferry out there. Keep going. It's a nice looking restaurant, Ripple's restaurant, Charter Bay. Very fancy. The cool little spot. Charter Bay, nice walk uh, swimming enclosure, people fishing, boating. We'll go up that long. We went along the beach here. Uh, for a little bit and then we'll go along where Joey is now along the path and go up to the headland and up that way a cool little park we've got here uh, this uh, walk just keeps surprising me there's something new something different something interesting heaps of history up there um, and that uh, up there in Chatter Bay uh, with uh, the defence and some cool restaurants and cafes and so forth it's good Alrighty, Bradley's head's 2.5 k's, Taronga Zoo 3.8, we've done about 16, close to 16.5 here, so that was where the defence stuff was and Chowder Bay, so now we're going to cruise up over here, up around there and then end up there, 4 kilometres later. Um, looks exciting, it's pretty cool, let's go. There's some mud there gonna get some wet feet, muddy feet, but right, pretty cool and interesting, nice interesting houses up there. And the harbour, you just can't get enough of those views. That's one thing about this walk, run, it's um, surprising. Squelch, squelch, mud. House is up there. View through there. Little birds in amongst the gravilia. Might be able to make them out. In there. A little bit of history along the way. Some info about the midget submarines in the harbour. So plenty to, to look along through here. A bit of bog, but we've had stacks of rain around Sydney. In New South Wales in the last month or so so not surprising but we can get through just with muddy feet and shoes and socks and legs but very pretty it's got that rainforesty feel here cool, some more interesting pathways I think we're going over towards Bradley's head we just come from Chowder Head, Chowder Beach whatever it is here comes Joe. See him straight ahead? Good, yeah. Yep. Bradley's head? Yep. All right. Yep, that's it. 1.4 kilometers to go. We're about 18 and a half in, so that gets us about up to 20 kilometers. So, that was, um, I think it was Ch Chatter Beach, Chatter Bay in there. We've come across here through all this single trail. 
pretty muddy and pretty wild, but um, quite interesting. So we're going to go cruise around here, end up at the, at the zoo. Some scrub turkeys along the way. Got another couple down here having a bit of a scratch around. I see in amongst all these, all these interesting, like, um, memorials to different ships that were sank or lost. Anyway, gives you a rough idea of what this looks like and what the trail's like. Some memorial walk with some details. And another little lighthouse. Some defense, old defense facilities. Opera House and Harbour Bridge in the background, helicopters over the top. I'll jump up these stairs and we'll have a look. There we go. Can't read that. And this is a lovely spot to watch the New Year's Eve fireworks while I've done that before. It's probably one of the best spots in the harbour to see them all. If you can get here. You can catch a ferry over here. With a million we'll other people maybe. Way. Anyway, cool. That would be awesome. Okay, we're at the zoo. So we're almost at the, um, the ferry terminals. Ferry terminals a few hundred metres down the road. But here's the entrance to it. Pretty cool. All right, made it to the uh, zoo wharf. So mainly to the zoo is 20 kilometers. Smack bang on, you see that, 20 kilometers. It's taking us just over three hours. It's not bad, we had to stop in the middle too. Um, so people come from Circular Quay off to the zoo and then go up on the gondola up the top to get into the zoo. Made it back to Circular Peace. Very terminal and station. Now, big day out. Pretty cool watching all the ferries cruising around. And left the harbour. Woo. 